Security video at Discount Wheel and Tire in Texas shows heavy rain coming down on Wednesday afternoon. But to the surprise of many, more than water was falling from the sky. Then was, I guess it started hailing. Yep, we had blowing, raining, hailing. And it could have been the fish slapping the top of the roof with all these ears, too. Yep. That's right. It was raining fish in parts of Texarkana. I didn't know what to say. I just, I thought it's pretty cool. I started getting me a bucket and start picking them up and use them for fishing bait. I'm kind of fishy. Work here went from installing tires to removing dead fish from the parking lot. You see them all laying out there? They shine. Miles away on Magnolia Street, Jeannie Tucker was out this morning checking for fallen fish in her yard and on top of her house. I couldn't believe it. I don't know when it happened. I've never seen it before. Southern Toronto Park, there's a lot of just pieces like heads and bodies without the heads. Never heard of that before. Never never really heard of it happening. Yeah. Michael Berry with the National Weather Service out of Shreveport says, although rare, oh, this event more. does okay. happen. The only way that I'm aware of how that, that could produce uh, the, the small fish falling from the sky with a thunderstorm would be some sort of a water spout having uh, sucked the water and anything in the water up into the cloud base. Barry says this was the first time he's seen it raining fish in the Orclitex. Local health officials told us during a press conference today our hospitals and their staff are overwhelmed. Are we at a breaking point when it comes to the nurses that are working in that hospital? They're exhausted. Um, our nurses have been working around the clock. Um, taking care of patients. A lot of them have had not had a holiday. We, A lot of us have worked Christmas, the whole week of Christmas, the whole week of New Year's. Tommy Austin is the head nurse at University Hospital. I, I need uh, at least uh, 100 nurses. Um, I'd like to have uh, 40 ICU, 40 med surge, and about 20 for the emergency department. You need 100 nurses just for this hospital? Just for this hospital. Local health officials tell us all of our area hospitals are in similar staffing conditions. Doctors are asking people with mild or moderate COVID symptoms to avoid the emergency room, but instead contact their primary care doctor and get a COVID test. It is so difficult to get a COVID test right now. They're sold out in stores. If you're going to a place, the lines last for two, three hours at a time. You're asking people to get tested, but it's New Year's Eve and it's next to impossible to make that happen. Well, I know that's a big one. I know that's a big one. And, and a, a lot of drug stores are running out of the COVID test. President Biden has said we're going to get 500 million test kits. He really needs to move a heck of a lot faster. If you're celebrating New Year's Eve around people from outside your household, you're being asked to wear a mask indoors and outdoors. People with symptoms are being asked to stay home. The Omicron variant appears to be significantly less severe for people. A lot more people are catching it. Do you have any optimism going into the new year that we could be getting closer to herd immunity with so many more people getting sick and then recovering from it? Well, I don't think we have enough information yet. Uh, we don't know essentially how much natural immunity from Omicron protects you any more than the previous variants. Uh, I'm not optimistic about the numbers that we're seeing. There's been a 75% increase in the amount of COVID patients in our area hospitals just this past week. The numbers are expected to grow. State health officials are bringing some help. Starting next week, more than 400 traveling nurses will be coming to the San Antonio area, including to University Hospital to help with those staffing issues. A new year means new beginnings. So don't let your 2022 start with an expensive and potentially deadly mistake. So we still have a responsibility to the public, which does include DWI enforcement. According to buyautoinsurance.com, San Antonio ranks the fourth worst U.S. city for drunk driving. They say the Alamo City has around 1,100 arrests per 100,000 residents, only ranking behind Las Vegas, Austin, and El Paso. So we're asking everybody that, look, we want you to have go out, have a good time, celebrate, but do so responsibly. TxDOT started a campaign called Drive Sober, No Regrets that runs through the New Year's holiday. Law enforcement agencies say the start of the new year is when drunk driving accidents increase. That's why DWI patrols are higher. 
Your first offense can potentially land you up to a $2,000 fine, 72 hours to six months in jail, and loss of a driver's license for up to a year. It's something these drivers know all about. But I'm not impervious to consequences. You're just kind of stuck in limbo dealing with this. It's a $30,000 mistake for me and something I still think about and have to deal with every day. I wasn't able to find a decent job for four years from one DWI. Also, driving while drunk can have lasting impacts for more than just yourself. My mother was teaching me how to drive. When someone under the influence hit us head on, my mother was killed instantly. I was rushed to the hospital and I ended up having to miss my mother's funeral. Never thought I'd have to write one of my kids' obituaries. A drunk driver took my mother from me. 